for our next point of 9.5, we are going to be talking about, so we've written those inequalities. Now we are going to be graphing them. So that's where our solutions, that is really going to come in handy. So we're going to be putting these on number lines. And we've talked about how they can have more than one answer. There's not just one true number that makes them correct. So we're going to, that number line shows us all of the possibilities without us having to write down every single one because nobody wants to do that. So when we are graphing, you're really going to want to get these down. These are something I still have to, every time, I have to think about them. So hopefully your brain is sharper and younger than mine and can remember these better. So when we have something that is less than another number, we're going to have our number line. So just go ahead and draw a little number line with me and just make a mark on it. It doesn't really matter where. So when I'm saying something is less than, and it's just less than, then we are going to put a dot on there and it's going to be a nice big open circle. So make sure that circle is open. It's not just a little dot. It is a circle on that number. I'm saying it is less than this number. And then we are going to draw an arrow that says anything on this side, right? I'm going smaller on the number line. It is less than goes this way. And so I kind of make my line nice and thick so I can tell that's the way my line is going. So anything on this side is a solution. So it's less than, it is not including that number. So, right, it is open. It does not include that number on the dot. It has to be smaller than that. So greater than is going to do the exact same thing, but it's going to go the other way. So on my number line, I would identify the number. It has to be bigger than and circle it with a nice open circle. And then because it's greater than, it's going to go toward the positive larger side of my number line and I'll draw my arrow to say anything this way is greater and could be a solution. So right, I'm saying anything this line touches forever and ever could be an answer to this inequality. So these ones have to be open. They are not including the actual number you circled. So now the less than and equal or equal to all right, so I find the solution and I draw my circle, but this time it's going to include that number. So I'm wrapping that number up in there, right? It's included in it. So every time I talk about that, I always have to say, does it include that number? Yes. For some reason, this hand motion, it includes it, right? I'm grabbing that number and saying, yes, you are part of this. And then it's going to be less than. So I'm going to draw my arrow going to the smaller negative side. So anything, and it could be positive numbers, but it's just pointing toward that negative side. So it's less than or it's equal to it, right? I included that in there, include that number, wrap it up like a little present, that's part of it. So greater than is going to be same, but going the other way. So I find the number, it could be greater than, and I circle it, but because it could be equal to it, right? I include that number, I wrap it up in there, include that number, so it's greater than or equal to this number because I wrapped it up and then my arrow will say it has to be greater than, so it goes that direction. So one other little trick, maybe this one will stick with you. So a garage door, so think about your garage door. And it's open, so right? So like this is this little line here, if I have this, this is like our garage door. So if it's open, right? When it's open, you can't see the garage door shut at the bottom. So here's the door shut, here's the door open. It went up and I can't see it anymore. And now I can see into the garage and I can see everything in that garage, right? It's going to be an open circle. Why am I writing with my pen? Nobody knows when I could be typing. Okay, so then when the garage door is open, it's up. You can't see that line. That means I can see everything in the garage, right? When I look in here, I can see all of that stuff in the garage. So now when the garage comes down, and now my garage is shut, so boom, the garage is shut. I can't see into the garage. It just closed everything. So now I'm going to draw a closed 
circle and I'm going to fill it in so that I can no longer see in that garage. So open, I can't see the line. I can see everything in the garage. It is open. Boom, the garage closes. Now it's included in that and I fill in that circle so that we can't see into the garage. So it's just another way to remember it. So right, it's included, fill it in, or the garage is shut. I cannot see into the garage. We want to fill that in. Okay, so for our last part, we are going to solve, write, and graph a solution set. So we have 6h equals, or is greater than or equal to 42. These are exactly like balancing equations. The opposite of 6 times h is dividing by 6, and I have to keep it balanced on both sides. So I do the same thing to both sides, show that work. So that cancels out, so I'm left with H, and I just bring down my symbol. Bring it down, exactly like it was. And now I have 42 divided by 6. Whoops, I don't need to rewrite that. 42 divided by 6 is 7. So H is greater than or equal to 7. It is exactly like solving an equation. You bring your comparing symbol down. So the next thing we're going to do is write a solution set. So H is greater than or equal to seven. So I'm asking myself, can it equal seven? Yes, so I'm adding seven in my solution set. And then I need something bigger. So could it be six? No, that is smaller. Could it be eight? Yes. Could it be 9.5? Yes, that is greater, 9.5. All right, so all of these are a solution set. They are all equal or greater than seven. So to graph that, I come find this. I come back to my original problem, seven. That is the number I am graphing, seven. Now it was included, right? That garage door is down. So I need to include that seven, wrap it up, fill it in, and then it's going to be greater than seven. So I want to go mark these, so I'm on seven. Here's eight, right? Here's nine and a half. So I mark my solution set, and then I make my arrow go that same direction. So anything this way, seven or bigger, that way, on my number line is a solution to this problem, six H is greater than or equal to 42. So solve it, bring your symbol down, write your solution set. Come back to your problem. I said H is greater than or equal to seven. That's where my circle goes. It was included because my garage door is down. I shut it. I cannot see into that garage. I mark my solution set answers and then make my arrow connect on those numbers. Okay, so go ahead and make sure you have all of that down and give those a try.